quick intro. Where are you from and uh, how long have you been in Tokyo? My name is Aliyah and I'm from Chicago and I've been in Tokyo for like three weeks now. Three weeks? Yeah, I'm Alyssa. I'm from New York and also like three weeks. Three weeks? Um, okay, I'm from Ghana, but I live in China. Miami. Miami. How yeah. long have you been in Tokyo? Um, this is day two. Day two? Oh, yeah. day two for me too. Day two? Yeah. I'm from London and been here one day. Where Hi, you from? my name's Chase. I'm from Canada. Canada. And how long have you been in Tokyo? I've been in Canada, uh, Tokyo for one day. Uh, my name's Justin. I'm from New Zealand. New Zealand. And uh, how long have you been in Tokyo? Uh, I've been in Tokyo for about five days. Five days? Why Tokyo? Of all the countries in Asia, why Tokyo? Uh, it's, to me, I, I mean, I, I just feel so out of place here, you know? It's, uh, it's a real adventure. Yeah. It's a real adventure. How is it different from New Zealand? Uh, language barrier to start with, yeah, it's very different for me. Um, di honestly, it's just it's just gigantic. New Zealand is very small, and the population is very small. So coming here, you just you, it's real easy to get lost and kind of feel insignificant. Um, which place have you been so far in uh, in Tokyo? Uh, in Tokyo, uh, I've just I've been quite quite touristy, but like. Uh, I came here taking photos, so just walking around taking photos of architecture and stuff like that. So nowhere in, no, nowhere in particular. Nowhere in particular. Yeah. So what is your favorite thing about Tokyo so far? My favorite thing about Tokyo are oh, the buildings, man. The, the buildings, buildings, right? And the way they combine the like the gardens, like the, the green. The greens. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So if it, if people are traveling here yeah. for the first time, what should they expect from your experience so far? Uh, to f just expect to feel overwhelmed for the first a couple of days, especially if you are on your own and you're trying to get through the subway. Uh, but aside from that, just kind of embrace it, get lost and explore and find your way around. Yeah, uh, I've been lost a couple of times, man. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's beautiful here. I love, it's, I love the experience so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, the heat, <laughs> the heat could cool down a little bit, but uh, the breeze is nice. So why Tokyo? Of all the countries in the world, the places around the world, why Tokyo? Um, so we're here for a study abroad and the options that I had like weren't as good so I thought Tokyo was like the coolest option. Nice. Yeah, um, I guess just Tokyo or like Japan in general has been like my dream to come here since I was like 13 and um, my family has tried to come here three times already but all three times like it didn't work out. So when I saw that my college has like study abroad in Japan I was like yo I gotta go. So, which place have you been in Tokyo? Um, I've been to Shibuya, Shinjuku, we're about to go to Akihabara, and some other places I can't think of here right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same, like we've been going everywhere together, but we also went to um, Asukusa. Oh yeah. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, like we haven't really been around that much. What is your favorite place so far, the favorite thing that you've done in Tokyo? That's gonna last forever in your memory. Um, I went to Team Labs for my birthday, and that was really cool. And yeah, the Team Labs is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would also say Team Labs. Um, we went to the well. We both went to the one in here in yeah, Roppongi, the, the borderless one, and it was really cool. Um, I would say just like Shibuya in general is really cool because like being from New York, like. It's literally like Times Square all over again, just like with way more people. But yeah, like it's just a really cool place. And like we go there all the time to like eat and like do some shopping. But yeah, like I really want to go to the other team labs, the Planet one. Um, yeah, so hopefully I go there. What is the message to young people coming to Tokyo for the first time? Um, young probably, guys like yourself who want to travel the world, Tokyo for the first time. What is the message to them? Probably um, making sure you know how to like understand Google Maps because I don't really understand <laughs> Google Maps. So she's been helping me get everywhere. Um, so yeah, just making sure you know how to understand Google Maps. And like the trains are like, some of the trains are really big. So you have to like know where you're going and like how to exit and all that stuff. So yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, like definitely Google Maps is like the biggest one because um, it tells you like which bus to take, which train to take, exactly when it's coming. Um, and I feel like just knowing your surroundings also, because 
Like here in Japan, like everything needs to be the way it needs to be. So like walking on the certain side of the yeah, street. Yeah, that's the last shocking down, thing I experienced here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like in America on the escalator, you stand on the right side, but here you stand on, on the, the left, left side. side. So just like knowing that and just knowing the basic laws and like rules here. So yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good. But just the heat is too, it's too hot out here. No, this is nothing. Yeah, I'm so. I'm, 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 I'm so sweaty. It's you know, nothing. it's nothing. Yeah, so see, I got long sleeves. Why, why Tokyo though? Why, why Tokyo? Of all the countries in the world in Asia. Of all the countries in the world, that yeah. is a great question. I don't know. It was really random. Very random. Yeah, my my friend is here for like a week, so I was like, you know what? He was like, you want to slide to Tokyo? I was like, all right, bet. And then I brought the fam too. Nice, nice. So, how's it going so far? So far, so good. We just went up here in the in the tower, and now we're gonna have a hot dog. So what? A, a seafood hot dog. At seafood that. hot Very dog. Very interesting. Mm. I'm, I don't know. So there are two for you. What are other places you've been to in Tokyo? Well, the Shibuya district. That was last night. Last night. They I was there a, last night. They had a Hello Kitty pop up. It was so cute. So adorable. But man, I don't look good with these glasses. On. <laughs> I gotta get my good stuff. <laughs> So where are you from? I'm from Ghana. I'm turning the interview on you now. Oh, I'm from Ghana. You're from Ghana? Yeah, but I live in China. You live in China? Yeah, I've wow. been living in China for the past 11 years. So you, wow, that's pretty dope. Yeah, so I'm just here, out here just to create content also to experience Tokyo for the first time. The first time? Mm. Wow. So far, so good? So far, you so love good. It? I love it. Uh, I, w I went to Shinjuku last night. I went to Shibuya. And I mean, it's amazing. It's bustling. Um, the nightlife is crazy and I love it. You love the nightlife. Yeah, you love, love the it. people. They're very nice here. Nice super, here. Super, super, super sweet. Nice and super sweet. And, and uh, very welcoming too, you know. Yes, very, very welcoming. And I'm um, very helpful. I've been on the street. I've lost a couple of times on the metro, in the subway. And um, any, any person I just speak to, they try to, I mean, be friendly and help you out. And so it's, it's amazing. Yeah, they always want to help you here. It's super nice. It's super nice. Yeah, I love it. So, so what is the message for people coming to Tokyo for the first time? The message? Um, well, that's a good question. This is a high stakes question. <laughs> I mean, people want to come to experience. I gotta go pick up oh, my Coca Cola. Oh, that's, that's nice. Nice talking to you, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your meal. Yes, okay. Eat good and be happy. Eat good and be happy. I don't know. That's the best I could come up with. I'm not a very sentimental person. Yeah, thank you so much for speaking oh, to me. I appreciate you. Have yeah, a good time, yeah. yeah? One day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Very cool city. So, yeah. why why all the countries in the world? Why Tokyo and why is it, why the city Tokyo? Oh, just amazing culture. Loads of stuff to see. Um, just like learn new stuff about the world, you know? It's different to any other place I've been so far, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So, you got here yesterday. Yeah. Which other places have you been so far? Oh, I literally was sleeping last night, trying to get the jet lag off, <laughs> and then I've just come out here today. We went to a market this morning, food market. Food market? Yeah. So which other place are you going to visit in Tokyo? Uh, in Tokyo, I'm not sure. We're going on a hike tomorrow in the, in the forest, um, and then we're going to um, a few different places around Japan, but only one more day in Tokyo. One more day in Tokyo. Yeah. Wow, nice, nice. So what is the message to young people, young folks coming to Tokyo for the first time? Oh, just get, get stuck in. There's so much to see here. Um, and yeah, get learn, learn new stuff about the world, yeah. Amazing, man. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Just One got day. Here. Yeah. How long are you going to be here? Three weeks, maybe. Three weeks. So, of all the countries in the world, the cities in around the world, why Japan, why Tokyo? Why Japan, why Tokyo? Oh, yeah. man. It's got everything. You like drinking? They got beer. You like eating? They got food. You like people? They got people, man. Everyone's so friendly. It's a great environment. Great environment. What are some of the places you're trying to go see in Tokyo, Japan? In Tokyo, yeah. uh, I'm staying around Hatagaya. Um, tomorrow I'm probably going to go to uh, Asakusa and um, just go around. Uh, I'm not much for planning, so I like to go around, see what's there, and just go inside. Right. If young guys like you coming to Tokyo for the first time, what should they expect or what should they find out? What should they find out? Uh, learn a little bit of Japanese. It'll get you far. Everyone's really respectful here, so if you show them a bit of respect in return, they'll treat you like family. It's uh, really nice, man. Nice. What is your message to the world? Message to the world, uh, be kind, be friendly, and learn as many languages as you can. It's nice, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank sweet. You for, nah, not sweet, man. Thank you for talking nice to me. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good time, man. Thank you, man. You too. Yeah. One thing I love, one thing I love about traveling is the fact that you get to meet people from different parts of the world and just speak to them for them to share their experience, and it's so beautiful. Like, people out here are so open just to, you know, talk to you. Yeah. I love it. So yeah, we're still heading to the Tokyo Tower, which is just right in front of me. I don't know whether you guys can see that, but yeah. Like he said, I've been getting lost, getting lost, getting lost, trying to navigate my way. 
um, around the city. But like I said, it's a beautiful experience looking at how they build a city and there's a blend of nature and building modernity and it's also very clean. Obviously Tokyo is one of the cleanest cities in the world. Right, I appreciate you guys for talking to me. No Thank problem. you so much. Uh, let me show you my channel so you can check